Government efforts continue to crack down on individuals and institutions involved in North Korea's illicit fundraising for its hostile weapons ambitions. Our foreign affairs correspondent Chen Min-jung says a Russian national of Korean descent and his related entities are the latest to be sanctioned. South Korea has slapped sanctions on a former South Korean national for helping North Korea in its illicit financial activities. The foreign ministry on Wednesday announced that the government imposed sanctions on Choi tung gun a Russian national of Korean descent. He becomes the first individual of South Korean origin to be targeted with such sanctions by the South Korean government. Choi is accused of being involved in illegal financial activities, joint ventures, and violating UN Security Council sanctions against North Korea from the time he became a Russian citizen. Two companies are also on the fresh list of sanctions. One of them is a front company established by Choi in Mongolia to evade sanctions while supporting Pyongyang's illegal funding. The other is a trading company in Russia founded by Choi and the Vladivostok representative of the North Korean Foreign Trade Bank, which is under UNSC sanctions. The trading company as well as its North Korean representative were added to the blacklist in line with a number of UNSC resolutions prohibiting the establishment and operation of joint ventures or partnerships with North Korean organizations and individuals. The foreign ministry said that blocking access to Choi's finances is expected to have a practical effect. Our government's independent sanctions against Choi chong gun and his North Korean helpers will serve as an opportunity to limit violations of sanctions against North Korea and raise serious awareness. Permission from the governor of the Bank of Korea or the Financial Services Commission is required in order to conduct financial transactions with those on the sanctions list, with those who fail to comply facing punishment under relevant laws. The latest sanctions are the ninth round to be put in place against Pyongyang since the beginning of the Yoon administration. Since October last year, South Korea has targeted 45 individuals and 47 institutions. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.